Greetings everybody. So in this video, I want to talk about the difference between the home version and the pro version of Windows 11. Okay, so in the home and pro version, you're going to have some similar features, but some of the features are not going to be available until you upgrade to the pro version. So similar features are going to be like the Microsoft Edge, the Microsoft Store, the Snap Layout, Desktop, Teams, and Gaming, and Touch features. So let's move down to the features that's not going to be available in home version versus pro version. So one of the features that's going to be available in the pro version that you will not see in the home version is called BitLocker devices. So with BitLocker device encryption, if your device is lost or stolen, BitLocker puts everything in a lockdown mode. So no one else can access the system or the data. So this is good for businesses that uses a lot of laptops on the road to protect their data from being exposed to anyone. So if you need to be mobile with your devices a lot, I would recommend you go with a pro version versus the home version. With device encryption, if you turn on device encryption, only authorized individual will be able to access your device and data. This is a feature that's going to be available in home and the pro version. So with find my devices, you can keep track of your devices, even your digital pen. This is a feature that's going to be available in home and the pro version with firewall and network protection. Your window devices come with a built in security feature to help safeguard against viruses, malware and ransomware. This feature is going to be available in the home and the pro version with internet protection the apps and the browser control in windows security helps protect your devices from potential dangerous apps files website and downloads and this feature will be available in home and the pro version parental controls and protection with this feature you'll be able to manage screen time limit access to mature content and control online purchases when you connect your family's Microsoft accounts. This feature will be available in the home and pro version. With Secure Boot, you can help prevent malicious software applications and unauthorized operating system from loading during the system startup process. And this feature will be available in the home and the pro version. Another feature that's going to be available in the home and pro version is called Windows Hello. So Windows Hello uses facial recognition, fingerprint or pin for a fast, secure and password free way of unlocking compatible Windows devices. Another feature is called Windows Information Protection or WIP. Now this feature will only be available in the pro version. This feature helps protect enterprise apps and data against accidental leaks on enterprise owned devices and personal devices that employees bring to work. And last but not least is Windows security. So Windows security will help you view and manage the security and health of your devices, a feature that will be available on the home and the pro version. So there you have it. As you can see between the home and the pro version, there's going to be some differences. The difference is mainly towards business and enterprises. If you decide to go with a pro version, you can actually settle with the home version if you're not going to use those business level type features. But I just wanted to point out those differences so you can choose whichever version you want to go with. But even if you decide to go with a pro version and you don't really use those features right now, then that's OK, too. All right. So I hope this video was helpful in letting you choose which version is best for you. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.